Hi guys, uh, welcome to the module 7 of Facebook marketing. Uh, we will be covering in the 7 module Facebook ads policies. Uh, so, so far you would have learned a lot about how to you know run ads, how to create campaigns. Uh, we have understood the structure, kick off the campaign. Uh, so, it's a very good. So, the next module uh, is about So through this module, we will be learning about, you know, to understand and adhere to the Facebook ad policies. Now, in advertising, as a profession, uh, you need to always keep in mind what is allowed and what is not allowed. Okay, and Facebook is very particular about a lot of things. Okay, so let's set the agenda first. Uh, so we'll be covering these things in this module. Uh, first thing would be ads review under process. Now, it, we will be understanding the time and role of ad approvals. Okay, the moment you click a button, uh, place an order button, what happens next? Uh, what are the prohibited categories and content types? Okay, uh, or which uh, on Facebook uh, and the what are the principles behind ad approvals and disapprovals? A very important 20% text policy, uh, which essentially means is how to balance text on an image on a creative on an ad. Uh, in order to ha you know uh, maximize the ad delivery and then how to maintain your ad account which essentially means is how to make keep it running okay you so that your ads don't start getting paused and not it's not delivering okay what could be the potential reasons for your disapproval of ad account okay uh, so let's begin guys so first things first we'll be covering ad review process where we will be essentially understanding the time and role of ad approvals okay how does ad approvals happen uh, so after you click your pace order button okay as we were understanding in the ad format the moment we click our ad place order button your ad is submitted for an approval now this is a this is an overview of the campaigns setup you first choose an objective then the placements and the formats and then you submit the ad okay so the moment you hit a place order button Facebook start analyzing the ad. Okay, it the components which will be covered or which will be analyzed by the Facebook or will be duly approved or disapproved is text. Okay, what is the text on the image? Okay, on the body content and on the image as well, and on the title. Okay, and then also on the video. Okay, so they will be evaluating your text. They will be also evaluating your landing page. Ultimately, where you want your customer to take to okay so when you place an order usually typically within 24 hours your ad will get, get approved and it will start running automatically the moment it is approved by Facebook uh, but if your ad is not approved okay you will receive a notification you will receive an email okay explaining why why your ad got disapproved and you will be also given guidance on how to edit the ad okay You'll also get a notification in your ad manager tool if you are using it. Okay, uh, if your ad was, if you think that your ad was wrongly approved, disapproved, you can use the link. Uh, there will be a link provided to you where you can report that you want to file for a a disapproved ad. Okay, so this is a link where you can do that. So uh, also uh, your ads will be continuously approved. It is not the case where once your ad has got disapproved, it cannot be uh, uh, once you or ad got an approval that it cannot be disapproved or stop serving. The reason could be why, when can Facebook decide to disallow your ad? Okay, is when you get a lot of negative negative feedback from the community. Okay, so you. Uh, uh, your approval status can be changed to a disapproval status. Okay. Okay. So let's we look at what are the top three reasons for ads getting disapproved. Okay. The first is uh, incorrect usage of the Facebook logo. You cannot use the Facebook logo in any correct manner. For example, as you see a Facebook logo in red. Okay. It's not allowed. Any age restricted material, something to do with unity, uh, nudity, your alcohol usage, as you can see from the image. Okay. It's not allowed. And something related to shocking and violent images, any violent image or a shocking image is a gun in, for example, gun in hand, as you can see in the image is straight away disapproved by Facebook. Okay. 
uh, okay so we have covered what is the so far the ad approval status how what happens after the you place your order okay what are the reasons now next we discuss what are the prohibited categories by facebook what are the prohibited content types okay or uh, of facebook uh, advertising so we'll be understanding what are the principles behind uh, your ad approvals and disapprovals okay so so we'll be covering you know some of the key policies across these three pillars okay so what are the three pillars main pillars which we'll be discussing or your ads get disapproved on these three pillars one is prohibitive categories okay so there are restrictions on some of the categories then there is prohibitive content types okay we'll be discussing this and then there will be used incorrect usage of facebook brand assets okay now few of the prohibitive categories are something like adult services okay uh, uh something like dating app okay then tobacco industry online gambling gambling industry weapons and exclusive and alcohol okay so these are some of the prohibitive categories where you need to be much more careful in some cases it is not allowed in fact adult services are not allowed tobacco is not allowed online gambling is not allowed uh, weapons and explosives are not allowed to be advertised alcohol has we'll be discussing in this session okay so uh, so why is alcohol a very strictly regulated category on facebook okay uh, so basically advertisers need to promote alcohol they have to adopt all the applicable laws regulations and industry in the respective countries okay and each country has its own laws and regulations okay so they need to follow in each country okay uh, so the you know uh, so table in the left as you can see the image in the left it shows the permissible age limit in the union territories in the states uh, understand one thing from an advertising point of view if you are creating a campaign or an ad set where you are targeting multiple union territories or states so the permissible age or the age above which you can do an advertising it has to be the highest age okay for example if i choose chandigarh and say andaman nicobar islands in one ad set okay so i will choose 25 i can't advertise below 25 because 25 is the highest one among the two okay uh so th that is to be kept in mind and if you are same goes for the multiple countries concept okay if you are in the ad set you are you know choosing multiple cat countries targeting multiple countries so you need to choose the highest permissible age limit okay uh okay so let's move on uh what is the type of prohibited content on facebook okay so type of will be these are the some of the ones obscene images and nudity it's not allowed shocking or violent images not allowed personal characteristics not allowed we'll be discussing this in this session and then misleading creative okay not allowed so uh, misleading creative is what misleading claims misleading landing pages or misleading buttons okay so let's discuss each of these content types what do you mean by why they are what, what do they mean and what exactly is prohibited on facebook and what is not okay uh, so let's move on obscene images and nudity is not allowed it's a big no no what do you so ads which use too much of skin overly sexual and which employs nudity like these examples will definitely be not allowed okay but also at the same time you might have a confusion what if there is a too much skin on these approved so this will be approved in these cases like close up of an eye for a cosmetic ad close up of an ear with earring for jewelry ad image of parents with an infant so there is no intent of nudity or sexual sexuality or you know that any of that sort okay so i hope you get the difference okay now so basically uh, essentially what it means is that also you need to ensure that your ad is adhering to the local policy okay so just keep this in mind uh moving on shocking or violent images is not allowed on facebook now what do you mean by uh shocking or violent images uh something like holding a gun in a hand an accident or any other gory or sensational or uh, violent images will not be allowed okay 
uh, moving on personal characteristics. Now, what do you mean by personal characteristics? Ad messages, when you're creating an ad, you cannot, you cannot create ads which talk about their personal characteristics, like on race, on marital status, on sexual orientation or religion. Are you black? Are you single? Are you white? Are you gay? Are you lesbian? Is your name? Can you, you cannot like personalize it. Hey Rahul. Okay. It's, this is all not allowed. Okay. Now what can be allowed? Let's discuss this. Like for example, out of these two options, which will be approved? We saw your relationship status change, order a cake for party engagement party, order personalized cakes for special occasions. Now in this case, obviously option B will be allowed because option A is saying that we saw your relationship status change. It's very creepy. It's not allowed by Facebook. Okay. You cannot imply any pers person's personal characteristics. Okay. Uh, similarly, one more example. Uh, so there is a cake shop. Uh, so these are the two adverbs. Single again, cheer up with a cupcake, cheer up with a cupcake. Okay. So this is a correct one. Why? Because you cannot, uh, in an advert, you cannot have a, even if a text body or a headline or anywhere, you cannot have a, cannot imply or talk about their personal characteristics. Okay. Now let's move on to misleading creatives. Okay. What do you mean by misleading creatives? Now misleading creatives is like uh, misleading. Uh, so there are three things which we covered in misleading claims, misleading landing pages, misleading buttons. Let's look at these. Okay. Now essentially, what do you mean by misleading is something which is trying to mislead you into clicking on something, but the user doesn't get a value. Okay. Now let's understand this term to examples. Now, first thing first, Facebook doesn't allow before and after. Okay. Facebook and Instagram doesn't allow any false or fraudulent and misleading types of claims because, uh, why, because why Facebook doesn't allow a before and after is because, because there are multiple levels of check before your claim can be uh, you know, uh, verify. Okay. So Facebook doesn't want to take a risk by, by showing such ads. Uh, it is against their policy. Uh, they don't want user to not get any value out of, even if it is an advertisement. Uh, so any before and after or any such misleading claims in the ads, uh, which cannot be claimed easily will not be allowed. Okay. Now moving on. It same goes for misleading landing pages. Okay. Now you must accurately. So what do you mean by la misleading landing pages? Misleading landing pages is that you end up telling something on, on an advertisement. And when you click on landing page, the landing page has something different story. Okay. Now you should, what, so what should you, you should accurately represent? You should accurately represent your business and page product or services. These are must on any landing page. Okay. If you are running a promotion of your ad. So when you land on that, when that ad lands on a landing page, okay, it should have the same promotion. Okay. Not a different promotion, same promotion. Sometimes you must have seen that there are very click baiting articles or click baiting, uh, uh, you know, uh, ads and claims where they would have, uh, one photo at each page, sensationalized content, like five, uh, you know, five, five types of celebrity photos, which you have not seen earlier. So that's a form of a click baiting. Okay. So that misleading and you, when you land up on a uh, landing page, you end up disappointing, which is not any value, any value to user. Okay. So Facebook doesn't allow this. Okay. Now, very clear example of a misleading landing page out of the option A and B where first it says order holiday cakes now to save 20%. So your business should be there. The product should be there on order should be there. Okay. Okay. So this is option A where second is also promoting order holiday save 20%, but there is a recipe, a blog page. Okay. So out of these two, what is the best choice or which will be allowed? Okay. They will be allow a, clearly a option A. Why? Because the claims they are making or whatever is their call to action in A is being represented on landing page B. Okay. Now misleading buttons is the next thing moving on. So misleading buttons is nothing but you try to, you know, uh, put a call to action button within and creative, which is 
which is some sort of functionality but doesn't perform okay very clear example in an image you're putting a video video icon but you cannot do that so this is not allowed get details in an image and you land them up here so that's how this is allowed okay okay so we have covered so far prohibitive categories which are no, uh, you know what are the prohibitive categories prohibitive content but now we'll be covering the third thing okay or third pillar on which your ads get disapproved is that usage of facebook's brand assets okay so understand one thing your facebook ad cannot use an altered or an outdated version of facebook or instagram logos or their trademarks domain names names logos okay any anything to do with that uh, also very clearly by using the logo you cannot imply an ad work that you are partnership with facebook you can integrate with facebook but you cannot doing a partnership with you so that claims are not allowed okay so which are the versions of the logos can be used this version can be used this version can be used definitely this cannot be used this cannot be used this cannot be used and you can check out more guidelines in detail in facebookbrand.com okay uh, so you can do that and very quickly uh, we'll also look at the checklist of do's and don'ts okay when you are using uh, in when you are creating an advert where you are involving or using a brand facebook when you write facebook use f ca f as capital okay uh, if you are displaying the word facebook in the same font size and style okay as which is currently there in their logo okay you cannot alter the logo basically uh, don't use the facebook logo in the place of word facebook okay don't make facebook plural facebooks is nothing use it as a verb or a and you cannot use it as a verb or abbreviate it and don't use the altered version of facebook logo in the image of your ad okay uh, so now we move on to 20 percent text policy uh, what we'll be essentially discussing in this is how to balance text in an image in an ad word to maximize the ad delivery now when i say maximize the ad delivery what is essentially means is if you have depending on the text you have on the image itself okay your ad will be delivered more or maximum or moderate or low okay uh, and what does the 20 percent signify we'll understand this very quickly okay now first of all a question uh, which ad out of the option a and b will be served more or delivered more uh, if you see the two options on the left and right the left image uh, the left creative has only the logo of a of a brand and the right has two text boxes with a lot of text on it so definitely uh, a option a will be served more because facebook encourages lesser and lesser text on the image itself of the creative okay so that's the that's the that's how the algorithm works okay uh, ideally you should balance your image with the 20 percent of the image real estate being occupied by text only and preferably in one area in the text box okay it should not be all over the place okay uh, your ad should have very little or no text so this is a preferred image style uh, so one question might have popped up how to check it okay we'll be discussing it now for example what happens when there is too much text on the ad your ad will reach out to lower you know maybe reach out to lower number okay so when you reach out to lower people lower number in case of a too much text okay so this is image text is medium example of an image text is medium here image text is okay okay so this is how where can you check this where are you getting this there is a tool which is called uh, which is by facebook only text overlay you just upload your image and you check for these things Okay, your ad will run normally low, medium, or high. Okay, your ad may not run. Your ad may reach out to lower people, and your ad may be slightly lower, or, or image text. So the ideally, your image should have a okay as a text rating. Okay, so it checks for the this tool checks for the percentage of text in the ads. Okay, okay. So now let's move on to discuss the last uh, portion of the module. Uh, maintain your ad account. Which essentially things is what are the potential threats for an ad account getting paused or disapproved for certain reasons okay 
so you know these are the few reasons where your iad account might be disabled first thing is your payment is undue is not up to date due to unpaid invoices facebook could do that your credit card limit has maxed out facebook can disapprove your account your bank thinks facebook charges are fraudulent okay so you need to follow up with the bank and too many ads getting disapproved on facebook can also give facebook a reason to disapprove your account okay so uh, so make sure that all of these things are taken care of sometimes you may come up with a question hey am i ads on not serving so most probably a cause could be that your payments are undue okay so that's a very common cause or a common day to day scenario that we see uh, that your ad account is not serving the ads okay okay so let's summarize guys uh, so we have learned in this module uh, of what how the, how the process of ad approval takes place and what are the key ad policies which are uh, which you need to be taken care of mind on the which on basis of which your ad gets approved or disapproved so we have covered the priority categories like you know adult services tobacco online gambling weapons explosive and alcohol these are the categories which are prohibited alcohol how to take care of we are following the regulations and you know all the laws what are the permissible limits with that we discussed uh, also then we discussed the content types which are disapproved definitely obscene images or nudity shocking violent gory images personal characteristics we cannot target any personal characteristics misleading creatives in terms of claims in terms of landing pages is those are misleading buttons and if you are using the facebook brand assets uh not appropriately your ad might get disapproved okay guys so thank you so much and see you in the next session thank you